Greetings. I'm Kelly Caldwell coming to you live from Panama City, Florida here on Big Blue Dive Boat. We're going to go uh, over a couple tips and tricks on how to don your equipment wearing a dry suit when you're diving a uh, dual tank configuration. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to start on my left side first and hook up my dry suit inflation hose. Uh, this is a common thing that gets missed and forgotten. Most of the time folks jump off the boat or they'll get ready for their dive and they're like, oh, I forgot my dry suit inflation. So the first thing we can do is we can just go ahead and get this done right out the gate and hook it up as the first thing. Now, if you notice as well, I routed my hose right underneath my harness on this side. So that way it makes it a lot easier when I slide my arm through as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you actually how to do that. So getting into position, I'll take my left hand and I'm gonna slide my arm through. And that also allows me to have clearance access for my valve that's hooked up right here, as you can see. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my dry suit inflation. So now this side is all nice and streamlined and complete. I've got my valve nice and free and clear. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over and I'm going to go ahead and sweep my arm through my other side, on the right side. Now when I do my arm sweep, what I like to do is I like to capture my necklace as well. Now once I've got everything all hooked up and situated, just with the straps, I'll go ahead and at this point don my necklace because this is another common thing that gets forgotten uh, during a dive. So we'll go ahead, we'll don the necklace, make sure that's good to go. Now that I have my necklace in place, I've got my shoulder straps in place. At that point, I'm gonna come along to either side and I'm gonna grab my waist straps, bring those out in front of me, and then we'll go ahead and lace up the crotch strap. Now with regards to the crotch strap, I'll show you a little trick with what I like to do with that to keep that in place. So with the crotch strap, I've got a little bit of webbing remaining here on my buckle. So what I'll do is I'll lace that through and I'll actually hook the crotch strap in place so at that point I'm not having to chase it. Now another thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and grab my canister like cord so this doesn't find its way into everything and I go ahead and, and I'll stow that underneath to ensure that I've got both cords on the bottom side. After that I'll go ahead and I'll lace up, buckle that in place. The very last thing that I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab my long hose. Bring the long hose out, ensure it's nice free and clear and then go ahead and stow the long hose completely. At that point, you can see I've hit all the steps. I don't have anything that's caught, tangled, or uh, forgotten uh, as I'm assembling my gear and donning my equipment. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to more GOE videos, and we'll see you all soon.